What's up, Diva? So your girl is back with a haul video. I'm really excited about this video because I have did like a, not a collection of stuff, but I have been kind of like, Listen, I don't even know, but either way, we're about to do this haul. So it's going to be a collection of all different types of things. Let's get in store for this haul. Just like my first, this is my first haul for 2019. So, yes, let's get it popping. There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. say a shout out thank you for this wig by rpg hair they did send me this wig and i did do a video i'm not really sure if it's going to be up by the time you guys watch this but the curls are really popping you just don't want to put too much product in it but i do like this you guys want to know how i make my wigs or what i use to style some of them on i did create a video for that prior to this one but for this one we're going to show i'm just going to show you some of the new products that i did receive and one of the products um that i didn't have in my collection i really like it a lot so a company reached out to me by the name of bhd beauty and they are a vendor on amazon yeah i already know how it feels about amazon like amazon is life they sent me three of their mannequin heads okay so this was the first time i ever received one of these of course it has hair on it right now because this is a wig that i made for my website so i don't make the wigs on these in no way shape or form that you are going to be able to make a wig on this like you can but it's not suggested because the head is much smaller than like a human head kind of like circumference these are the like the cosmetology kind of like training dolls so you can either get them with hair or without so this one is of course bald and she did have some lashes but you know they came off in transition to you know hooking her up with some wigs um she has glass eyes she's rubber so when you pierce it with a needle you you see like a little dot you don't see like a hole there is a line, like it'll show you where the hairline of the unit is. So there is an indent in this to show you where to place the hairline of the wig that you're putting on it. Um, I love this thing. Like I only use this to style the wigs. Like on the bottom, it has like, you know, the opening right here. But I do like, I like this one. Like this is the one that I use now all the time to style all my wigs. Normally I used to use the, the um, mannequin heads that come from like the beauty supply store. You know, I have this, the head is softer. It's a little bit more human hair like, human like. So you could definitely get away and do a little bit more better work with this particular style. And they also sent me their canvas block wig making head. So this is what I actually use to make a wig. And I already have three of these in my collection. Um, The size that I have were not a 23 inch head circumference. So I've been using this to make like all the wigs. Um, I would say I probably have these like about seven weeks. Um, and I like them because this, I like this particular size, the 23, because it's comfortable for any head shape or any head size. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's not going to be too tight. So if you have like a lot of hair or your hair is thick, it won't be too tight under like a 22 inch head circumference. So I really do like this head circumference and the weight of it is good. It's not too short and it's not too long. Like I have one that's a little bit shorter than this. And then I have one that's longer and it's heavy. One is too heavy because it's longer. And then the other one is kind of too short. So it makes it a little bit awkward for me. So this one was actually the right size. It was in between the both. It was lightweight. And you can also put it on a tripod too. And then the third one that they sent me was also another wig block making head. This one is kind of like a different type of material inside of it. You can pierce a pin through this as well. I don't really use this one to make my wigs on because the shape is a little bit different. Um, this one I think is a little bit more lightweight and the circumference of this is also a 23 as well. It does have like the hole in this bottom for a tripod. If you're making wigs and you don't have a wig block making head, then I would suggest picking you one up because 
a styrofoam head is cool even if you're building up with tape but you're not really getting like the full effect of it so i would suggest getting you a wig block making head tripod like you know what i'm saying i'm like oh you can put on a tripod you can put on a tripod so i wanted a tripod for my wigs okay because i don't have one and i know that you guys probably see my wigs on stands in the video um and that's really not a tripod for wigs it's actually a light stand i wanted to get me a like a real mannequin tripod they have like so many to choose from on amazon for me i just read the reviews before i buy something this is the tripod that i got from amazon it's a really good tripod this portion right here where you will attach the head at is made of metal and you can swivel it so that, that way you can lean it downwards in different angles at the bottom right here you can also bring it up and make it taller but at the base right Right here there are like these metal feet it doesn't tilt over it kind of like gives it a base it took like um i think it took like two weeks to come it didn't come really quick because it was an item that wasn't through prime and it wasn't in the united states there was one that i did want um which was like 57 dollars, and that only got like four stars when this got five so this was cheaper i'll definitely link it below and i also linked the one that i originally wanted that was more money since we're talking about hair products um a company named mark anthony did reach out to me like probably like three months ago and they started sending me their hair care products i did notice that they are available at walgreens i did feature some of them in like you know recent videos plus they also did send me out a new product box and i can only tell you a little bit about that particular product this box because i haven't really had the opportunity to use it um a couple months ago they did send me their coconut oil extra virgin hair and body so you can use this on your body you know what i'm saying or your hair i don't use it on my body because i have enough bath and body work stuff but i use the heck out of this on like my hair so i'm missing like a lot of it so it's all the way down here it's just really good but i'm gonna tell y'all something about this you may want to make sure to keep it out of the sun and this stuff will melt for my hair that sucks up moisture this stuff keeps it so moisturized i have also put this in my kinky straight wig just so that way i can slick it up in a bun and being that the hair is so textured this works good in it too it's the coconut oil and like a cream texture um it does define the curls does eliminate frizz and tangles i didn't use this one as much i used this like twice and i used it very sparingly so i'm just putting a little bit here on this hair because this is starting to look a little bit dry in some areas it does smell hell of a good though this is the one that i absolutely love the most strictly curls it's seven in one leave-in and treatment foams it's the frizzes defines moisture detangles smooth softens and shines so if you have kinky curly hair like kinky curly hair you can use this it says when it's wet when your hair is damp i put this in dry hair and just put a little bit on my hand because it's like a foam it's like a foam but it's not really like a foam it's like a like a moisturized foam so it's not as runny as mousse but it comes out as like a mousse i love this stuff all of their products smell amazing. This one is my favorite. It gives like dry hair a whole different look, okay? Then there's also the Curl Defying Lotion. And this is what I actually used on this entire wig. It's a little bit more lightweight. It's creamy like, jelly like a light gel kind of like, but it's to define the curls. Also, it helps with the humidity shield. So I put this on it because this hair texture is kind of funny and you don't want to put too much on it. So this worked out well. For this particular hair so they did send me out like some new stuff and this was like a week ago super curly girl this is their new collection i didn't use it on my own hair but i did use it on my son what i did use in his hair was two other three products that they sent me this is the curl control styling jelly son wuzzle's hair is curly natural curly so it was looking kind of dry first i put this in his hair to see if it was going to give it any moisture it didn't really seem like it gave it too much moisture to me i decided to then try this product product in it right behind it and this is the smoothing the smoothie cream now this gave it life it had more sheen in it it gave it some more curl definition yeah. the third thing that i got coconut oil and extra virgin so i probably won't use this until i run out of this one this one is not telling me that i can use this on my hair and my body opposed to this one says hair and skin hair and body they are available at walgreens i see the prices ranging from like 10 and eight dollars so i did get some hair from a company it's just a 
clip on ponytail or drawstring ponytail and some clippings. Can't remember the name of the vendor, but I will link it for you guys below. Drawstring ponytail is more or less like kinky texture. You know, here's the thing with hair companies. They all feel like all African Americans have the same hair texture and we don't always have to make it kinky. And not all of our hair has like this type of curl, like this deep curl or this tight curl. So I wanted something to kind of like mimic my own hair texture, but I can never find anything like that. This is what it looks like from the inside. It's more or less like flat. So you could basically um, just kind of like tuck it around and you can put it on any which way you want to. So if you wanted to put it on the long way and give yourself like a longer ponytail or like a faux hawk, does have like the drawstrings right here. The texture and I like the way it's made. So it feels like hopefully it'll stay on. And then they sent me some 20 inch bundles. I'm not seeing bundles, but some clipping hair, kinky straight hair. You can basically make your own by just buying one bundle and clipping it in your hair. This is like my favorite texture anyway in the world. Like I love kinky straight hair. Y'all know how I feel Feel about this one jewelry website free shipping it's international but you get free shipping their jewelry does not tarnish okay plus they super affordable girl happiness boutique i don't know how many videos i done did for them but i got a nice little collection of these boxes in my closet now that i look at this little cuff bracelet i'm like is this for um a grandchild or for an adult because it looked kind of small but i thought it was so pretty on the website you know you do have the opportunity to see people wearing the jewelry so you know how it's going to look on a person I do like the quality of the bracelet. It does have some faux diamonds going around it. And I like the detail of it. It's one of those bracelets that are very fitted depending on your wrist size. Now, if your wrists are bigger, this may be an issue because it is more or less a very fitted bangle. So there isn't any type of wiggle room and I believe this is in the color rose gold. I always seem to wear like the same type of jewelry or the same earrings and that's because I don't go nowhere. The okay. post earrings. They are a gold colored chandelier hammer textured earrings. They are definitely not heavy. They're not too large. They're not too long to where they're dragging on my neck. They are very classy looking, okay? So this right here is their charm necklace. It does come with two charms on it. As for the necklace portion of it, it more or less reminds me of one of those chains that you would get like to hang your keys on. Not like a huge fan of the actual chain. Seems kind of flimsy. Um, I'll post their information below for Happiness Boutique. So on to the next, MimiBox.com. This is just like a monthly subscription box where you can get all types of skincare products uh makeup this is more or less like asian based but they're very popular i've done like a lot of reviews for them in the past and i reached out to me and asked me what i like to do an instagram story with one of their new deep face facial masks so this is the sugar kitten one i do care and this is not like a monthly product but you can buy these separate they do have ones that are a unicorn a cat um does come with the peel off mask silicone brush and a little mask that you can wear each one is kind of like themed and this one is the sugar kitten. Didn't get to use this yet. Oh, snap. So I didn't know that their facial peel off mask is more or less like hierographic, hier hieroglyphic, okay? So it's green in here, but then when I touch it, it comes off as purple, okay? Oh, I'm about to put this on my face tonight. <gasps> Look, oh, I'm using this tonight. Once I take my makeup off, girl, I'm about to do me a cute mm. And it feels really thick. Like, it feels like it's tight. Just get, like, a mask or a headband. Oh, God. My head is too big for this. Please don't. Um... It's not really giving me like a big stretch. And I know my head is not that big. So they have like a bunch of nice stuff on their website. So moving on, I'm part of this um, website called Influencer. You get products, you don't get them that much. Like I haven't gotten anything from them in like a couple of years. And so I don't even know how I ended up getting this L'Oreal New Rouge um, Signature Matte Lip for Lipstick. I forgot all about a girl, but whatever. Less texture, more color. And they sent me out two colors to test out, which were these right here. Now y'all know I don't really do red. For me, red just seems like it takes forever to 
for me to apply it. So it has like this really neat doe foot type of style to it. Like it's really sharp and this might help me out a little bit. I'm not sure. Now here's the red. I don't really do red really well. Like it's a pretty red. Um, it's a little bit deeper in person and it's probably showing up really bright on my lips. But for some reason, some strange reason, in this universe, I don't know. I cannot put on red lipstick to save my life. It's like it always ends up like under my lip, over my lip, and I'm just making like this huge mess, huge mess to where it's on my teeth like now. The color is pretty, it's called 426 on the bottom. So it does say that it was supposed to be less product. This you have to build, it kind of seems sheer to me. So now to the next color, 414. This is more or less my color because, you know, I could put on some pink in a minute. So I'm gonna be honest and say, um, I don't really like the feel of this lipstick or whatever you wanna call it. Like this is not like one of my favorite products for any type of liquid lipstick. For one, you have to put like several coats of this lipstick to build it up. So it's very sheer, um, but also it gives like this weird wet feeling. Like I really can't explain it, but it feels like you want to taste something. It's gonna taste really nasty on your lips. I don't really use L'Oreal makeup. I'm not really feeling the whole texture. And if you want like a, a more opaque color, then you may want to just skip past getting these, okay? Now on to one of my favorite makeup companies. You guys Guys know they're super affordable everything is a dollar where it's gonna make you holla I love getting surprises in the mail especially from shop miss a because it's definitely affordable and it's makeup like I really don't feel like you should have to spend a lot this is actually part of their new collection and it's their cream blushes and cream highlights I do see like a lot of different brands branching out with different type of highlights um, I do like shop miss ace highlights because they're only a dollar plus the pigmentation of them is like amazing they did send me a bunch of stuff everything is a dollar you I think their products alone is worth more than a dollar. They have like all these different highlights, cream highlight. Um, the color is called Opal, called their Dewy Collection. Probably need like several layers of this on. I would put it over like my face powder. The color is nice, does come off as in a nice color, like a pinkish. Um, another one in that Dewy Highlight Collection is called Silk. This one is a peach kind of like color. This color is really pretty right here. So it is more or less kind of like an opaque kind of highlight as long as you just put like a couple of coats of it on it's a dollar honey where's you getting this kind of quality for a dollar dream it's more or less kind of like a champagne -ish peach color this one is called haze it gives you like that gold pop that's pretty and the last one out of the dewy highlight collection is called grace and it's, it's also given like that lilac um color cute on a budget so this was a really nice color choice i like this kind of reminds me of like a pretty pastel rainbow moving on to their perfect blushes i was i was expecting to feel it creamy so this is a powder this is called scandy coral color this i would wear like in the summertime everything that i am showing you guys is from their aoa studio collection this is darling they're not as opaque as i would like them to be this is a delight so i'm not sure I'm not too sure how I'm feeling about these blushes, okay? Because they're not really giving me a lot of color. Mm, kind of too light for my skin take. And this is a brown color. This is Fino or Fino. Let's see here. I'm going to use some brushes. So you guys know I love Real Techniques. I swear by their beauty sponge. I love that orange sponge. This was gifted to me by Real Techniques and with Oxley.com. You get products and in return, all they ask you for is an honest review on the product. I already used it, okay? Sculpting set. So there are three brushes in this. It does come with this little brush stand that says Real Techniques. It's a sculpting brush, bright pink handle to use this to sculpt. Setting brush. I do like the size of this. Baking your face. Face. This is probably good for that. I'm not really sure. I do like the shape of this. So I use it for something different. And then last is this fan brush. It picks up a lot of products. I did get to use all these products. I love Real Techniques. Um, you can pick up um, Real Techniques just about anywhere. And we're gonna try out the blush right now called Fino or Fino. And I'm just gonna lightly tap. Okay, so this is the side with the blush. And this is the side without. This is not bad. The color is not bad because I don't like too much color sometimes. 
You know how I could kind of like do a kind of like light contour with this. There's a darker color in the collection. And I like this brush because it's very dense. So you're getting a lot of product. You, you know, you're able to pick up your product. Wispy and Auburn. I'm thinking that I'm going to try out Wispy. This is what um, Wispy looks like. It's kind of like pinkish tone. Now this is the next one that I was thinking about trying, which is Auburn. Definitely too orange. I was thinking that this was going to be like a brown um, color. This particular color, it's because it's deeper. I'm going to try this just a little. So it's not too bad, but I would have to be light handed because it's it will kind of like clash with the makeup look that I have going on today. And very bright pink colors. Looker. So that's a pink color. And I mean, it depends on how you use it. I don't really do like the bright pink colors. I try to go for like the more neutral look is the Euphoria. And this one is like another. This reminds me of like a Barbie pink. I think I would use the bottom before anything. Now we're going to try out the cream one. This one here is Shy. So this is like a reddish color. Um, also, this color here is called Demure. 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 This is the brown color. I like this color right here. Rustic brown. Charm, red, red. Passion, bright pink. Then this is like the brightest pink I've ever seen um, in their collection, which is Bloom. They're almost very similar from Passion and Bloom. Merlot, mauve color in the mauve family. And that's right here. Cupid. It's cozy. And cozy is right here on the side. So the colors are nice. They're um, buildable. You can get them dark if you want. If you're a fan of like cream blushes, then you know you may want to check them out, especially because they're only a dollar. You know what I'm saying? For a dollar. So you guys know what I be talking about when I tell you how much I love me some Octoly. If you guys do Instagram or if you do YouTube, you have like loads of different things. You start off with like five coins and each coin is good for one item. And then as you just continuously build yourself and review you and you will get more opportunities, more products, like more higher end products and more coins. I love Oxley because I get to try out new products. Like I love Morphe eyeshadow palettes. They're really nice. I think I have like seven of them in my collection and now I have eight, which is this one here. This is the 35 palette. It did change the look of the palette. So I have been using the palette. So it is a little bit, you know, kind of like makeup dirty. The look that I have going on today is actually from this palette. The entire eyeshadow look, this was everything that I used out of this palette. This is just the paper that goes over them and it tells you each name. Also, the palette does have like a glossy um, finish to it. I like colors like this. The colors that I used today on my eyes were these two right here and then I also used this color right here. The palette is a pigmented palette. It comes with 35 colors in it. They do give you a variety of color. I also like this color here, this green, because it's like a moss color. So I like the fact that you have matte colors and you also have frosted. This shadow right here, this is a pretty shadow color. I really do like this shadow color. And I also did use an eyeshadow base. The eyeshadow base that I used was by e.l.f. It's the exact same color. I just wanted it to really like pop. Also did have this eyeshadow color on a few days ago. Gold color. The palette is really good. I can go on one palette and get all the colors. This palette, the 35M, this is the Boss Mood palette. From my peoples at Octoly. Um, I also was gifted the Laura Mercier Shadows and Lights Cabinet. VR stick eye color collection. I like me some Laura Mercier. She has some really nice products and this was also gifted to me from Octoly. I did use some of these products today and even though this is an eyeshadow stick, so on my nose I do have some glistening going on. That is all on the count of this stick right here. It's supposed to be an eyeshadow stick and it is but it also gives good vibes for um, highlight. Like listen, if you out and about and you just got this on your 
in your bag. I'm actually gonna use it for everything. This is the Moonlight color. These are soft. And look at that color, like, girl, please. I'm gonna use this for everything. In the corner of my eye right here is this one right here, which is called Rose Gold. This is the ro Rose Gold and Moonlight. Then the next color, I think I did use this one too, which is the All Natural. I think this one right here is more or less something that's a, like a matte color. This one I didn't get to use yet. And then the last color is called Amethyst. So this is Amethyst at the end. And the color is really pretty. And then from Oxley. And I didn't even get a chance to use this yet. I honestly forgot about it. Girl, let me tell y'all. It takes me forever to do my eyeliner because my eyes are hooded. So my eyeliner game is not that perfect. One touch cat eye, we swear. Um, eyeshadow and eyeliner brush. This brush right here has like this angle on it that is kind of like scaring me, but then I'm feeling confident like this might just be exactly what I need for my hooded eyes. Had I remembered that this was in my box of tricks, I would have been used this. Listen, it says one touch cat eye. So that means that I only have to do it one time and I'm good to go. We shall see about that. This is by the brand called Undone Beauty. And this was also gifted to me by Octoly. So I did get some items from this really bougie on a budget company, hunties. I'm not even sure how to pronounce this Juara. Juara. Listen, this stuff is so good. It smells so good. It works good. This cream is so thick and just soft and inviting to your skin. Like, look, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of like whipped like butter. It's very soft. This is their body cream, Candle Nut. So I don't use this for my entire body. You know how you just try to like conserve something for certain things because you know you're not gonna always have it and if you got dry skin honey you only need like one coating of this it makes my feet feel a lot more moisturized bougie on a budget baby Jing, you know you feel like oh okay i've actually used this a few times as well like i said i've been trying to save the best for last like guys, you know how you try to save the best for last like this is not something that's like three dollars that you want to use every day so this stuff does leave your skin selling, smell, feeling moisturized it does get sudsy and and it's just really fancy looking. So this is not something that I keep on a shower shelf. And this ain't something that I keep out to where, you know, somebody accidentally walked in my room like one of the kids. And they be like, can I borrow some of your lotion? And I be like, yeah. Then they get a hold of this and then I don't see it no more. Juara is a great product. You guys know how I feel about Velvet 59 and their lashes. Like they got the best lashes ever. I do have their Bloom Baby palette. Um, it comes with 12 colors. I do have another one of their palettes, which is also bomb too. There is a mirror in this bad boy and then here are the colors so their eyeshadow palettes really are bomb as heck like they have like really nice eyeshadows i have used quite a few um i've had this palette for like a month or so a little bit more over a month now probably like a couple of months and i was supposed to have been do a review with it but i just kind of like put it to the side they just give off like a nice color payoff then i'll try this gold one right here look at that gold like look honey that's what that's what gold is like look girl please look at that this color right here look i don't even have to get up that close and personal with you guys to show off their colors and the names are actually on the back of the on the back of the palette this yellow color right here y'all already see that freaking yellow that yellow is bright as heck. Double 59, they be having some, they have some bomb stuff. Um, they have some really good eyelashes. I love their eyelashes, lip colors, lippy colors, and also um palettes. So I think like everything on their website is bomb. Freckles, which one is called freckles? Okay, they got a one of them in here is called freckles. I'm still offended. Hold up. Okay. It's like a pinkish color. It's the bottom color right here. 
I'm about to say freckles. And also from another makeup site, um, Juno and Company. Juno and Company, another website that's affordable. Um, they do have palettes on there that are in the low price ranges of seven dollars and ten dollars. When I first used to look on the website, they had a limit of how many lashes you could buy of each one. So that was the one thing that I didn't really like about the website. Then they also have like these beauty blender sponges that they have been advertising like crazy about. I'm gonna tell you, like I'm not like the hugest fan of the um, beauty blender. I'm really not. Um, uh, this is the glam cam for the glam can so it's supposed to be like an aluminum can and you know you have your glam stuff in here so the one product item that's in this box is the beauty blender sponge that is by them and this is the velvet microfiber velvet sponge i'm not like the hugest fan of the microfiber beauty blender sponge and they did send me two i'm not like the hugest fan of it i'm probably gonna have to give it another go like i'm gonna probably have to try it again but the first couple times that i tried it out i wasn't like too like you know, like psyched about it. And it's more or less, if you can tell from just looking at it on camera, it's got like this velvety feel on the sponge. And so when I wet it, I felt like it made my makeup look okay at first, but then it was kind of hard to blend. So I really was not like a huge fan of the sponge. I also gave one to my daughter and she said the same thing. So I'm not really sure about how you guys feel about it if you've ever used it. But I also did get this little um, beauty blender sponge holder in rose gold. It's cute, you know what I mean? And I also did get the Clean Up Your Act Solid Cleansing Bar. This must be for to clean the sponge, to clean your sponges and brushes. It's like a soap in here. Um, I like to use antibacterial soap for my um, beauty brushes. You know, and company does have like some really good makeup brushes that are like dumb affordable. So, you know, you can keep that. Keep that on your um, agenda list. And oh, look what I bought for myself. This is from the Dollar Tree. This is the LA Colors Glow Now Skin Illuminator Liquid Highlight. Ooh, okay, LA Colors with a dollar stuff. Hold up, wait a minute. Let me get some highlight in it. Oh, you could like bronze. Ooh, this is like some nice stuff. All I know is this stuff is really shiny. Okay, I did not really want to make this video long like this. I love Amazon Ceramic Tower Portable Room Heater. It does get cold in Arizona, but I wasn't really even going to keep this. I was going to give it to um, my son in New York. You know, the houses are older. They're very drafty. Sometimes the heat is just not enough in one certain room. This is nice. I never really even took it out like this. This is a nice portable heater. So if your room is really big and open, this is not going to work. Okay. It's not going to work. Like in my room right here, it's probably not going to work because the room is too big, but it should cover like certain areas. Okay. So on the back, Ooh, on the back is a, um, on and off switch. It also has some gadgets here on the top, less hot, more hot. It has a timer on it. Um, it comes with a remote control. You still wanna be careful with these things in the rooms because you know, a heater is a heater with any appliance you wanna be very careful with. It actually turns, I didn't, that's what it does. So it actually turns. So this is like a really neat heater, okay? So this one turns for you around, which is great. So the other person on the other side of the room can get warm and toasty too. Okay, let's not leave everybody out of the equation. If you're in college, you have like a college room and stuff, this would definitely be good for the rooms because they are, some, a lot of the places are um, in control of the heat. So I think like if you're in a dorm and stuff, this would be definitely good for like dorm size rooms. Or if you have like a studio apartment, then this would also be good. Or if you have like a small workspace at work and you know, you ain't in control of the temperature then you can definitely check that out this was by a vendor on um, Amazon and this is by trust tech it's a ceramic 16 inch tower heater but I'm sorry I took up a lot of you guys' time I love you stay deep and deep delicious make sure you break come and subscribe to me and you know what I'm saying I will see you guys in a soon to come one um, video I'll see you guys in a soon to come video this hair actually is really cute though from RPG hair right this is so cute yes I'm not a